Hello and welcome, I'm your CodeMonkey. Unity is once again collaborating with Humble Bundle for yet another excellent bundle with an insane discount. This one is all about interesting tools, and as usual, there's a super deep discount at 98% off. So if just one of these interests you, then the whole bundle is worth it. Usually these bundles are all about assets, which means they're only useful if you like the style, but this one is all about tools. So regardless of whatever genre or whatever style you're working on, regardless of that, these tools can definitely help you. Quite a lot of these are completely new to me, very unique tools that give me ideas for all kinds of games that I can make, I've already went ahead and picked up a bundle myself. So over here let's do a brief overview of all of these tools and what they all do. First up, here we have the top-down engine. This one is one of the highest rated assets on the store. Like name implies, it helps you make top-down games, either in 2D or 3D. It's also one of the most complete assets of all, features dozens of demo scenes, includes a really tight character controller, and it's got excellent game feel. There's lots of visual assets, an inventory system, AI system, it even has touch controls and is multiplayer ready. So if you're a fan of complete game builder tools, then this is without a doubt one of the best ones. Next up is Magic Light Probes. This one is basically a tool to help you more easily place all of the light probes in your scene. Now, if you've ever tried manually placing light probes, then you know just how much work that is. So this simple one-click tool can definitely save you a huge amount of time. Then the Prefab World Builder. Like the name implies, this one helps you build a world with your own prefabs. Now, for me, world building is definitely one of the tasks that I most dislike. I suck at making a level look good and placing all the prefabs. So a tool like this one certainly helps that process. You just select the prefab and click in your scene. It features lots of tools for placement, so you can just click and drag to place with some randomness. You can place just one object, place lots of objects aligned in the grid. It even lets you place objects with gravity, so everything ends up with a really natural feel. Next up is Unistorm. This one lets you easily add storms to your game, so this can be rain or snow or just some intense fog. It definitely makes it look great, so if you want your game world to feel much more alive, then this would be an excellent addition. Then is Smart Lighting 2D. Handling lighting effects is always pretty tricky. For example, I covered a very basic thing in my line of sight video. This tool helps you add 2D lighting with tons and tons of options. The results definitely look very impressive, lots of colors, lots of merging, everything looks really nice. And despite all that, it's also mobile friendly. After that is Storyteller. This one is a nice tool for helping you organize text, dialogue, sound, and so on. Definitely looks like a great tool for any kind of story heavy game. Up next is Destroyant. This one is all about destructions. This one features some very impressive results, but these destruction tools are all about how easy it is to set up the objects. Looking at the tutorial videos, it seems this one is more manual rather than automatic, but the results definitely look great. Then over here we have the full screen editor. This one does exactly what you expect, so it makes your editor view in full screen. So there are no black bars, no Unity interface, everything is completely full screen. This is definitely really useful. I remember when making my own Steam games that taking screenshots and recording trailers, that was always a very tricky process. Basically, if I wanted them to be in native 1080p, then I had to make a build. So with this tool, that process would be so much simpler. You just press the play button and everything is 100% full screen, complete 1080p. And also this works not just on the game view, but also on scene view. So this combined with the previous world building tool, that can definitely make you very efficient at creating new levels. Then we have the better UI. This one is essentially a bunch of components that extend the default UI components. Definitely sounds quite interesting and has quite a ton of options. So this would be very useful if your game is UI heavy. Next up is Fluxy or Flux XY. This one is a fluid simulator that runs in 2D or 2.5D. It runs entirely on the GPU, so it is extremely performant. So you can use this to simulate fire, smoke, water, maybe simulate some paint or some really interesting effects. Then comes the Endless Book. This one is a pretty great, pretty simple tool. Easily lets you create a book-like page flipping animation. Honestly, this is the first time I've seen this asset and definitely looks excellent. So it does exactly what you want, really nice, great effect. After that is the Script Inspector 3. This one is an integrated IDE directly inside Unity. Now for me, I enjoy having my Visual Studio as a separate window, but if you want to write code directly inside the engine, then this can definitely be useful. Next up is the Dialog System. This one is a nice tool for helping you manage dialog trees. You can use the Graph Editor to manage decisions, branches, and so on. It was already used in Disco Elysian, so that definitely means that it can help you build an awesome award-winning game. Up next is the CCG Kit. This one is a complete template for making a card game, so very much like Hearthstone, Gwent, and so on. It features a deck builder, so you can easily build any cards. 
There's a custom editor to easily set up all the rules. And it even has fully integrated multiplayer support. Then it's very animation. As you might know, Unity does not let you edit humanoid animations directly inside Unity. So this tool lets you do that, coupled with a bunch more features. Then is the Mech Combat Kit. This one is a template for making a mech game, so you can easily swap between third person and cockpit view. It features mech-like movement, you've got a loadout system, limb damage, and a bunch more. If you like visual scripting, but with blocks, then here is the Blocks Engine. This one could be an excellent learning tool for anyone who will learn programming by using Scratch. So maybe if you have some kids and you want to introduce them to programming and game development, then this tool would be great. After that is the Train Controller. This one is definitely a niche tool. It helps you control trains in your game, so you can add railways, set up stations, stops, and a bunch more. So this could be interesting, for example, if you have a game like GTA and you want to add trains to your world. Then is the Broccoli Tree Creator. This one helps you easily create trees and all kinds of vegetation. You've got lots of randomization, so no two trees will ever look the same. There's tons of settings for you to play with, so the results are really nice. And up next is Performance Tools. This one is a collection of tools to help you improve performance in your game, so you can optimize draw calls, you can call invisible objects, make some billboards, and so on. Then a simple tool, True Shadow. This one lets you add some nice pre shadows to your game. So the built-in Unity Shadow, that one is extremely basic, and this one lets you take shadows to the next level. You can add effects to the shadows, make them more or less soft, there's quite a lot of options. Then if you want to do some kind of 3D modeling inside Unity, you have this one, Archie Matrix Pro. This is a node-based parametric modeling tool. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but apparently it is based on modeling through logic. The results definitely look very impressive. Now I've seen some things sort of like this on Twitter, but they were usually made with Blender nodes. So I didn't know there was a tool to do this kind of thing directly inside Unity, so this one definitely looks quite interesting. Then we have a package for helping you handle MMO and action RPG camera. This one, I would need to research this to see what exactly it does different from Sin Machine, but it does have quite a ton of options. And after that is Modular Motion. This one is a really nice and simple UI animation tool. The results in the video definitely look excellent. Adding some UI animation is usually a pain, having to deal with the legacy animation system, or perhaps handling it through some kind of LARPing library. So this tool certainly has me intrigued. And after that is the Bones Stimulator, not Simulator. It basically lets you add wiggly body parts. So you can click to place some bones and they become very wiggly. There's a quick setup, so it's super easy to just click and add some bones. It definitely makes your animations feel much more alive. All right, so that's a bundle. Honestly, I'm very impressed. This might be the best bundle that I've ever seen. I wasn't familiar with quite a lot of these tools, despite the fact that I'm constantly looking at sales and the new assets that are released. I didn't have most of these, so I definitely picked it up right away. As usual, with such a deep discount at 98% off, if just one of these looks interesting to you, then the whole bundle is entirely worth it. There's a link in the description, and that link is an affiliate link, so if you pick it up, you get these awesome tools, and I get a nice commission. Alright, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.